Hello YouTube, this is the DBT Game Show, episode 72, part 2, and today I'm reviewing Banjo-Kazooie Grunty's Revenge for the Game Boy Advance. Now if you haven't watched part 1, you've, absolute, you've missed absolutely loads. I've already explained the story, I've talked about the graphics, the controls, the music, the gameplay, and some of the good stuff about this game. So please watch part one before you watch this part, so you don't get confused. Now, let's pick up where I left off. I left off halfway through explaining the transformation of this game. I've already talked about the mouse, the candle, and the octopus. Now I'm going to show, show you the last transformation of the game, which is the um, tank. The tank is my favourite transformation of the game, it's, but it's extremely hard to get. But it's one of the best transformations ever thought of the, for the Banjo Kazooie series. But <coughs> Tank can't jump, but he's got some serious firepower. And with these cannonballs, they can enter special areas in certain levels that Banjo couldn't on his own. It's a really good transformation. Okay, now that I've finished talking about the transformations in this game, let's have a look at some of the levels in this game that, that I enjoy playing. Well, some of my favourite levels in this game was definitely Freezy Furnace. Freezy Furnace was a really hard level. Let me just find it, I'll show it you. Now that I've reached Freezy Furnace, one of my favourite levels in the entire game, I'll tell you about a bit of a bit of the level. The reason why it's one of my most favourite levels is because Gruntil's Industries appeared from Banjo Kazooie 2 in it. And, it's, and I really like Gruntil's Industries in Banjo Kazooie 2, although it was a really hard level in Banjo Kazooie 2, and it's still a pretty hard level to play in Gunter's Revenge. Freezy Furnace is a very difficult level due to the, all the icy water. If you touch the icy water, your health bar will slowly deplete, unless you're using the octopus, of course. Um, throughout the game, you will find these little molehills, and the mole will come out and teach you your new move. Um, so that's Freezy Furnace, one of my favourite levels. Let me show you some of the other levels in the game. Right, this is Spillerston. It's kind of like a harbour beach sort of level. It's a, and this level was one of the hardest levels in the game. It's a very tricky level. It's very tricky to find all those jiggies and all the optional extras that you can collect in the level. So it's first and it's a very good level but it's really really challenging. It took me ages to find everything in this level. One of the best things about Spillerson though, when you complete the game and complete the special mini game and collect enough gold coins, you can play several mini games at once. It on this little machine. And then you show this mini game machine, then I'll go back to showing you some more levels. Now, on the minigame machine, there are several minigames you can play. You've got this egg sort of game, where you, um, you're on a slide and you have to rescue all these eggs. And you've got this sheep fishing game, where you have to um, catch all these sheep before they all get eaten. You've got this boat game, where you have to look after this treasure chest for a certain amount of time. Um, you've got this other slide game, where you're collecting worms. Uh, you've got a new fishing game where you're collecting um, loads of fish. A slide racing game where you've got to race this mouse down the slide. Um, a new fishing game where you have to catch the fish but you can't see them, so it's really difficult. And you've also got snow seeds, which is another where you have to collect all these little snowflakes before the enemies do so to energy again. That's what the mini. Let me just show you one mini game. Uh, this is the um, slide game. 
Now, as you go through the game, these mini games will be jiggy challenge, and you get you will get jiggy for actually doing these mini games. But once you unlock all the mini games, you can play them to your heart's content. So that's what one of the mini games is like. Now I'm gonna go back to explaining some new levels in the game. So just give me a second now, I'll find new level to show you. Okay, now that I've found another level for you. This is the main hub world, Spiral Mountain. Now, Spiral Mountain in this game is absolutely huge. Spiral Mountain is so big it's separated into three parts. There's Spiral Mountain, Spiral Mia, and Spiral Heights. Spiral Mia is where Gruntilla is, and Spiral Heights and Spiral Mountain are where most of your levels are. And Spiral Mountain is pretty big in this game. And there are several jiggies which you can collect in Spiral Mountain as well. Let me just show you around. And I'm, over, I'm in the Spiral Mountain area. I'm going to climb up these vines. And now I've entered Spiral Rise. Spiral Rise is another area where the last boss is Lair is Gruntilla's giant head. Right there, see? Also in Spiral Rise there's the um there's Honey's Hive so you can exchange your energy bar by collecting several empty honeycombs. The maximum health bar in this game is eight. Now let me show you another level that I like in this game. Okay, now I've found another level now. This is a new one I say, but this one's called Cliff Farm. Cliff Farm is a very is the very first level you will play in the game. Even though it's the first level, it's still very has some very difficult puzzles in it. And also, whilst I'm here, I'm going to show you the swimming moves. You press the R button to get into the um, water, so you can dive down and explore. Use the R pad to move yourself around, A to raise you up, and you have five air bubbles. And you press the R button to um, exit the water. If you see some bubbles underwater, you can also collect them to replenish your oxygen level. Now, Cliff Farm is one of my favourite levels because it's, even though it's the first level of the game, it has some really good challenges in it. And let me just show you a couple more levels. Give me a second. Now I've found a new level for to show you. This is a new one of my favourite levels. It's called Burgle Beach. It's a very sunny sort of level. And finding all the notes in this level can be a real bitch because the notes in this game are the same colour as the sand, so the game kind of camouflages the notes so that you can't see them in the sand. So, Burgle Beach is also a very good level and it's really challenging. It's the second level in the game. Now, the last level I want to show you is Beyond Bad Magic. Let me just get there. Okay, this is beyond. This is the stage known as Beyond Bad Magic. Now, Beyond Bad Magic is is a really hard stage. It's kind of like the swamp level in Banjo Kazooie One called Bubble and Glue Swamp. But Beyond Bad Magic is a really hard stage. One of the moves that you learn in this stage is Drill Bill. To do Drill Bill, you jump, then you press L, and you can drill a nice hole in the floor. It's quite a devastating attack to do on enemies as well. Now, as I was saying, Beyond Bad Magic is a really, really hard stage. It's almost as hard as Spillerstone and Freezing Furnace. Now, I'm very sorry, YouTube, but I've run out of time again. So please join me in part three of my Banjo Kazooie Grunted Revenge review, where I'll finish off doing this awesome game. Until then, bye bye.